Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to use HTML5 file upload, with update record server action. We've already created an update record, server action, and a simple form, that submits text, through a text input. You can see how to do this in our video tutorial called, Update Your Database Records. Now we want to add a file field in our form, in order to be able, to update also, the files on our server, and their names in our database. Click inside the form on the page, and add a file field. Let's change, the default file field name. Save your page, select globals, and then click the synchronize button. Now, the new file field is also inside the global variables list. Right click the database connection step and add file upload. Add a name for it. Then select your file upload field. Expand global variables list and select the file field under post variables. Click the select button. Set your upload path and then right click the file upload action step. Add a condition. We need to add a condition, that checks if the file field is empty, when we are updating the record. If it is empty, we do not want to insert empty value, for the file name in the database, but we just want to keep, the existing one. Click the server data bindings picker, in order to set up the condition. Select the, error binding, located under the file upload step. With this expression, we can check if the file field is empty, when submitting the form. We just need to look if there is an, error with number 4 returned. So we just add, equals 4, in the expression field. If the server returns an error, and if it equals 4, then the file field was submitted empty. Click the select button. If this condition is true, or if the file field was submitted empty, we do not want to send its value to the database. So then, we just need to run the standard update record step. This is the step that we've created previously, and it only inserts, the text field's values, into the database. Grab this step, and drag it in the steps list, under the then statement. Now, right click the steps, under the else statement and add a database update. This update record step, will be run, when there is a file selected, in the file field. So we will update, the file name, into the database. Add a name for it. Select your connection, from the drop down. And set up the update record options. Select your database table the columns that you want to update, and add them to the columns list. Select the column, where the text field content, will be saved. Set its value. Select your text field, under the post variables list. And then click the select button. Now click the database table column, that stores the uploaded files names. Click the server data bindings picker, to select its value and select the name binding, under file upload. Click the select button. Open the filters tab. Add the ID column, and assign, the form hidden field value to it, as explained, in the update record tutorial. Click the OK button, when you are done. And then save, your server action steps. Our server action executor, does not need any changes. So let's just preview the results. Select a record to update. If you do not select an image, then only the text field value, will be updated. Then, select another record to update. Select a new image, and enter something, in the text field. You see, that both get updated, when you hit the update record button. That's how easy it is, to use the HTML5 file upload with update record server action.